Gabrielle. My name is Pixelated Twix and welcome back to Boundless. This is actually just a really brief, I guess, tutorial on what I've kind of learned and maybe not a tutorial because I didn't, well, I guess it could be deemed a tutorial. Someone taught it to me. So now I'm just kind of teaching it to someone else. So I guess I'm kind of paying it forward. So you can see here, and this is kind of where I start off a lot of my, um, my Boundless videos is either in this storage unit or the one across the way um, in the blue storage unit. So this is actually the purple storage unit that's under my original house build when I first came to uh, came to the game or started playing the game. Um, it's since, uh, I guess, evolved into this. And I decided that I wanted to create a storage facility or storage space for myself, Cosmic Mermaid and Melanin Sims when we are in the game. Um, it's quite small compared to a lot of other people's storage units and I have a feeling that we're gonna have to expand sooner or later but there it is we'll have to figure that out as things progress I mean we may just make something even bigger and you know whatever but so I think you, if you watched my previous video um, I told you that hash Malash came over to show me some lighting tricks. So I decided to go ahead and implement that. Um, so I do not have the glass pane. So we are just going to, what I'm going to do is kind of show you um, how I do it with just a couple pieces because uh, I may have the glass pane. Let me go see. I think I need plain glass and I really don't have that. You know what? This is what we're going to do. I don't have the plain glass, but what I will do, um, I have a character, my crafting character, and she does the majority of, um, well, she is my crafting character. She does all the crafting um, for me. Um, this is my main, but she's more or less my farming uh, when I go out farming, and what I mean by farming, I mean mining, not exactly farming in the game, but um, she does most of my mining and my hunting, well, not hunting quite yet, but I, I much of my exploration. You can see that I'm kind of working on the floor here too, and I'll give you and show you what I did here. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with that. Okay, so, um, let me hop on uh, Dark Shade and I will show you how I uh, make glass panes. I will be right back. I'm in Veruca Cat's uh, workshop on our, our settlement or near our settlement and he allows us to use uh, use this because it obviously you've probably seen this already, but it's just amazing. And what we have in our workshop is nothing compared to this. So um, you basically have this thing called a um, refinery and refineries you can use to create things like this, signs, uh, gleam lanterns, door locks, all kinds of stuff, furniture, doors, trap doors, um, and all the pretty gleam and things like that. So as you as you um, specialize, you more options are available for you to create. And then, of course, um, the prettier it is, um, the more difficult it is, or the more um, I would say, um, the cooler the thing looks. Probably the more um, ingredients it takes to create yeah the rest of the ingredients it takes to create it anyways the, so that was just a brief um look into make creating um, anything in the refinery so right now i have two recipes available to me um and whatever's in green those are the things that i have um the items or the, the ingredients to create it so right now i can make plain glass crafted block or a pane and i'm actually looking for the pain so let's scroll down here and um i hope i'm just gonna make a single one and i'll see if this is the right one um this looks like this might be it so we'll see it takes about 24 seconds obviously you can see that um i'm thinking this is the right one i only have a few i don't need a lot right now um, this is that silk yellow that I made. I'm kind of mad about that. I might, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell this. 
I might just put it in storage and see what people, if see, someone in the settlement wants to use it. But this is what I made it out of. So that was a rookie mistake. Definitely did not know. Won't do it again. Knowing is half the battle. All that jazz. Don't do it. Learn from me. Take notes. <laughs> Take copious notes. Um, so let's go back here and check. All right. So I believe, you guys, we have our plain glass pane white. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and create the rest of these and I will um, see you guys in the storage unit. I have my five little panes in hand. Um, I did make a lot of glass. I knew that I was going to need a little bit more than I had, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick what um, I've been doing. I've got this plain glass here and it takes some took some finessing to get this to um, lay down horizontally, but um, I, ha I kind of had to figure this out because at first it wasn't doing that and it was kind of frustrating. I was trying to figure out like how are these people getting it to lay? Cause it wanted to of course lay like a window. It wanted to um, lay down like a window would, right? A normal window would. Um, so anyways, this is corruption ancient corruption to be specific and oh okay now this is the hard part this is why i'm showing you this because this is is what's been happening and some of yeah it's not going to lay down so what i have to do now is um we're going to do this um and i'm going to have to break all this glass and I will show you what we're going to do. So I'm gonna jump down here and I'm going to lay the glass down, or I'm going to um, align these up the way I need them to go. And then I'm gonna come in here with this warp conduit. Oh, I love the way the warp conduits look. And I've actually, warp conduits are very, very cheap. You can make them, or um, I've found them just from my, in exploring planets and coming across dormant meteorites, which, let me tell you, those are like my favorite things to find in planets because you can find ore stone in their cores, and um, I've been seeing them quite often because meteors hit all the time, and people aren't there to fight the... Um, meteors are like rifts. If you've ever played um, the MMO Rift, or even World of Warcraft, they there's like, I forget what they're called, but they happen every so often. Something will open up or a portal will open up and there's monsters or, or, or elite monsters that come out. That's what kind of, that's what meteorites are like in Boundless. Um, so they hit often on, um, it seems like they, the not like, oh, see, here we go. So this is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to break this one, I think. All right, so it doesn't seem like meteorites would hit my planet Tana, but I'm thinking like other higher tier um, planets, like maybe T3s. What am I? T2s? So maybe T4, T5, T3s. I, I've never seen one hit Tana. I could be wrong, but um, yeah. So anyway, you saw that I had to break the one um, block for me to get to, for, for some reason, this doesn't happen all the time, but um, if it does, this is what I had to do. I had to lay the blocks down first and not lay them all down, leave me a space here enough for me to um, to put a window pane down and then um, work from there. So, so now I can easily um, lay this down and see how the green box is appearing. You want it to kind of look like, you want it to look like that. So you know that it's, um, cause if I do it like this, this is what's gonna happen, right? But if I lay it, if I, if the green, um, I guess uh, indicator is looks like that, like a little bar rather than a box. Um, you know that it's gonna lay across the source block like that. So that's all the panes that I have or that I've actually made, but this is the effect that I'm going for. I didn't want it to, I mean, it looks good this way too, I think maybe, um, but I think this kind of dulls it a little bit more and it just, I love the effect. I love how the, um, 
the warp conduit looks through the glass. Plus Cosmic Mermaid, I was looking at the fact that there's three of us here and we all have different tastes. Um, we all have different personalities. Cosmic Mermaid loves the cosmos. She loves um, everything that has to do with stars and things like that. So warp conduits have those, um, the galaxy look. I thought that was a perfect look for um, this area. Plus the, the corruption kind of set it apart, um, gave it a different effect, gave some different lighting, plus the purple underneath. And then it kind of, the purple kind of makes the cold berry look a little more blue. My favorite color is blue. Melanin Sims likes shades of blue as well. So I think it was a perfect amalgamation of all three of us in this particular storage. So I'm still working in it, of course. There's, I don't know what I'm gonna do up here. Um, I'm just, this right here was just um, perfect for where we store the blocks, but in the main area, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here, but um, maybe I can get Hash Malash to um, kind of pick his brain and see what he says. I still want to figure this out. I think I might slant these a little bit because I don't know how I feel about um, this being so square um, and maybe slant these down. Well, I think I might leave these right here because I like the railing because, you know, safety reasons and all. I'm clumsy. I'm clumsy in real life and I'm clumsy in game. I may um, stack something, make... Um, more uh staggered uh railings down here too um and yeah so anyway that's it guys that was a really quick tutorial um it's nothing professional or amazing of course because i'm not like this amazing builder and boundless but i thought this might be a good way to get started and showing little things that i'm learning in the game um and you know just share it with those who are interested in playing or maybe are new to the game and don't have any idea um how to get started in building so i'm new i'm a beginner and this is kind of a beginner friendly um look all right so that being said i will definitely try to have a little more tutorials like this in the future but i hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you think about it in the comments and if you have any additional ideas i would love to hear from you um so please do that talk to me love to conversate I have been Pixelated Twix. I will see you later. Ciao.